The Miss USA pageant uh, will be coming up uh, later on in the spring. And there's an upstate New Yorker that's going to be representing New York. Hannah Lopa is the new Miss New York, was recently crowned and is on the line right now. Hannah, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. And so you're from, um, listen, the home of one of the best wrestling, uh, high school wrestling programs in the state, Spencerport. Spencerport, that's true. Yeah. Did you go to high school at Spencerport? I did. I graduated from Spencerport in 2010. Uh, interestingly, my my uh, my. Oh, I think we, we have go. audio back <laughs> here. Hold on, TV audio. Hold on, <laughs> Hannah. I've got an issue going on with our uh, TV setup. Actually, my uh, my father in law was superintendent of schools at uh, Spencerport back. Really? Maybe when you were maybe when you were there. It's kind of interesting. Uh, small world. Small world. <laughs> so congratulations to you. You've been uh, you've been a runner up a couple times, and uh, now you're it. You're Miss Miss New York. Thank you. Yeah, I guess seventh time's the charm. Is that how the saying goes? <laughs> oh, it, it, so you, it has been that many times. It has. I competed twice um, as a teen in the teen age division, mm-hmm. and then I took a couple of years off to kind of grow up and mature a little bit. And uh, when I was 20, I competed for the first time as a Miss in the Miss age division, um, and the the next four consecutive years after that, leading up to this year, so... Now, do they, when you're in this pageant, um, the Miss New York uh, pageant that just went on, uh, do they ask you the political questions? Like, if you were to give advice to President-elect Trump, what advice would you give him? Did you have questions like that? Uh, occasionally they ask questions. Because Donald Trump used to own the Miss Universe right. organization, um, they, he recently sold it to IMG a little over a year ago. I think that at the state level, they try to avoid getting into questions like that, especially concerning uh, President Trump. Right. So last year they did, however, ask me, uh, my onstage question involved uh, my opinion on what the United States, how, how we should handle immigration in our country. So it's really difficult when you're in front of an audience and you have to think on the spot. You're already right. nervous. So it's, it's definitely a tough. You know, you always see those girls on YouTube who have gone viral because they've, they've messed up a question. Yeah. And it's not that they're not educated and they don't know the answer. It's just it's really difficult being in front of that magnitude of an audience and having to think on your toes like that yeah. on such a controversial issue. Yeah. All Five that, seconds, go. All that while wearing a bikini. I mean, that's just <laughs> not easy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so um, and how did you answer the immigration question, by the way? I said that I think that we should be open and accepting to people. I think New York State and New York City specifically it holds such a melting pot of, of people. There are so many different cultures and different kinds of people here. And to be quite honest, you know, my family migrated here from Italy. If it weren't for that, I wouldn't be here. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, so you're Italian. <clears throat> I, I, we, it was big, I am. People are surprised to know that, but I am Italian. <laughs> I, did, I, I guess I have the L O P A is uh, is your last name, and I didn't I didn't I didn't catch that you were uh, that you were Italian. Utica, this area, a uh, big Utica, Rome, a uh, very big Italian area. A lot of Italian food here in uh, in this area. Oh yeah, I can't get enough. It's it's nice to finally be able to eat some pasta again for a little while before Miss USA. So when you say that, because you have to be on a like a really low carbs diet to be able to, uh, you got to be in shape for this, right? Whipped cream, Hannah. Yeah, whipped cream. <laughs> of course. Yeah. I have the. I love sweets. I love dessert. I love bread. Uh, for the most part, I mean, I just try everything's fine in moderation. I try to live a balanced lifestyle. It's really hard to be perfect and. You know, with the whole bodybuilding and bikini competitors trend, um, you know, I think most of the time people can get carried away with wanting to look a certain way. As long as I feel good yeah. and I'm happy and I like the way that I look, then it's okay. You know, I don't overdo it. Well, well I would good. say that's very good, Hannah. Very you nice. ought to be very happy with the way that you look. Yeah, <laughs> you should be very <laughs> nice. I think you look uh, very nice, uh, to be honest. So, are you prepared? Because you're going to the new level now. Now you're going to get into the uh, to the to the to the big pageant, the national pageant, and uh, oof, boy, the competition and the the uh, you know the cutthroat attitude. Do you think it's going to be like that? What are, What are your thoughts? I mean, competing in pageants for the last you know nine years of my life, there's always the really competitive girls, but for the most part, there are a lot of a lot of women in my life across the entire country that I would not have met if it weren't for pageants. I have so many friends 
And I think part of it is really as cheesy as it sounds is just the experience. This is the opportunity of a lifetime, and I'm going to try and soak in every moment. Um, I, my, Miss Arizona is a really good friend of mine, so I'm looking forward to meeting a lot of the other girls um, at some of the upcoming events leading up to Miss USA. So, I mean, for the most part, all of us, we want to accomplish the same goal, but we are also here for the journey and to make yeah. the most of it. So. All right. Well, listen, the fact that it's uh, someone upstate uh, and from nearby Rochester, uh, Spencerport, um, really kind of cool. What's your next step? So when so the pageant, uh, the big pageant will be held in May or June? Typically, they hold it in the summer. Okay. Uh, the organization doesn't release that information until uh, a few weeks before the pageant, so you just have to be prepared at any moment to go. Okay. Well, it could happen tomorrow. You never know. Trump's no longer involved. I'm ready. You're, you're ready to go. <laughs> well, you look ready. So Hannah Lopa, Miss New York, thank you so much for coming on, and congratulations. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Uh, upstate New York, uh, Gail, and she is beautiful. Yes. Yeah.